Ladies and gentlemen, it is time, folks. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series Championship Race. It is the final round, round 16 here at Autodromo de Interlagos. It is the Brazilian Grand Prix, second running of this event. I'm NASCAR CEO Tyler McMurder, and strap yourselves in, kick back and relax and enjoy the show. We're going to find out here tonight who the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series Champion is going to be. JRB is on the pole, Bill Baldwin starts in second, Pac-Man starts in third, Popeye is in fourth. Unfortunate news for Even Steven, came in as the points leader, technical difficulties, he's unable to be here, and the green flag has been shown. This leaves it up to Pac-Man and Bill Baldwin. The only way for Bill Baldwin to win the championship here tonight is if he can win this race and Pac-Man finishes seventh or worse, folks. Right now they're running in second and third. Keep your eye on Bill Baldwin and Pac-Man. Working lap one, 60 minute endurance races here all season long, 16 races, and tonight we crown the champion. Second annual NASCAR GT Cup Series season hosted right here on Gran Turismo Sport, driving the GR3 cars. Balance to power uh, setting is applied and these cars have no custom tuning options so it really does come down to the driver's skill. The draft is a factor, tire management, having a good pit strategy throughout these long 60 minute races certainly helps. It's been a long grind for these drivers, a long season. And JRB with a little bit of a wiggle through the S's here at Brazil. He's going to lose the lead to Bill Baldwin. He takes the lead and Pac-Man looks to the inside to take second and this is huge for the championship. This is what Bill needs to do. He's winless this season and it's amazing to say that because in the first 15 races he has over 10 podiums. He's put himself in a position to win so many races this season. He won four of these GT Cup races last year in 2019 and here he is winless looking for his first win all season long and also looking to capture the championship. It's going to be a tall order for him though. He needs Pac-Man to have a bad race. Pac-Man's just behind him now in the second position and Bill needs him to maybe slip up and lose a couple of those spots but now the gap is only increasing between Pac-Man and JRB. JRB now back to third. Popeye in the Jeff Gordon number 24. Chevy Corvette running in fourth. Percussive in fifth. Jesse Carlson in the Jimmy Johnson Chevy Corvette running in sixth. There you see NASCAR King, that's Josh Colm Diaz and the Chase Elliott Chevy Corvette running in 7th. Daniel McGriff and the Dale Earnhardt Nissan GTR running in 8th. And Robert Lohman Sr. running in the Daryl Wallace Jr. Bubba Wallace number 43 Chevy Corvette. That is your field here today so far for the Brazilian Grand Prix. And Bill doing everything he had to do coming into this one. Take the lead and don't look back. JRB coming into this race with some momentum, folks. Two wins in a row. Was winless before those two wins, and now here he is, and looking for his third win in a row here. He started on the pole. We know he's got a fast Toyota FT1. Really like the number 12 Wood Brothers paint job that he's got there on the Toyota FT1. A lot of NASCAR-style paint jobs on these cars, and it's really what's been a, a very fun attraction for the viewers here that have tuned in for the series all season long. It's been noted, been very recognized that Popeyes brings a different Jeff Gordon paint job to the track every race, as does Jesse Carlson. Jesse has taken over the fifth position there from Percussive. And we should mention, folks, Percussive has announced his retirement here from the NASCAR GT Cup Series. You see he's got a NASCAR tribute paint job there on the Toyota FT1 and on the door it says thank you for the memories and we'd like to also thank Percussive for the memories. Thank you for, for being a NASCAR GT Cup Series driver and being the respectful, humble, clean racer and, and good person that you are. I'd say the closest battle on the racetrack, closest up to the leader Bill Baldwin is for the second position. 
Odd man being hounded a little bit there by JRB. They're down to a few car lengths when they're in these tight turns. When they get back out on a straightaway, it's up to about six, seven car lengths. But the pole sitter trying to make a little bit of a charge back here in the Brazilian Grand Prix. Off course goes percussive. This is over in turn one, and he's going to lose the fifth position to Jesse Carlson. I believe he had lost it there just about a half a lap ago, but he was still right there behind the number 48 Chevy Corvette. And now Toyota FT1 of percussive has a little bit of work to do. Unlike him to go for a slide the way that he did there, but we're going to have to see if he can rally back over the course of this race. Again, these are 60 minute endurance races. These drivers will have their hands full all race long and it's amazing to watch because at the end of these 60 minute races there's always one two three four cars all right near each other battling for the win and it, it, it's really amazing how these drivers are so evenly matched that at the end of a one hour event they can still be uh, neck and neck and battling for the victory of course bill baldwin does not want it to be like that today looking for his first win here this season, fifth win of his NASCAR GT Cup Series career. He's got the lead right now, took it away on lap one from the pole sitter JRB. And for him to walk away the champion here tonight, I mentioned he needs Pac-Man to slip back to the seventh position or worse. But right now, Pac-Man running in the second position and actually every now and then gaining a little bit of ground on Bill Baldwin. They're mirroring each other um, in lap times at this point. It's going to be a nail-biter all the way down to the very end, I'm sure. This track features all sorts of different characteristics. There's elevation changes, there's a couple of different straightaways, there's, there's a tight chicane, and the world-famous S-bends through the center section of the track. A lot of character in there, there's a lot of bumps that these drivers need to be careful with, and if they go through there with a little too much speed, they can get on the rumble strips and that can really throw the car around very easily and upset the back end of these race cars. The first set, the first cycle of green flag pit stops has been complete here in the Brazilian Grand Prix and at the end of it, Bill Baldwin is the leader. We saw JRB take over second from Pac-Man before they came down pit road for scheduled stops. Pac-Man back to third. Jesse Carlson has worked his way all the way up into the fourth position in that, man, that's a really nice, uh, white and purple and pink number 48 ally Chevy Corvette right there. He's running in fourth Popeye runs in fifth for cuts of right behind him running in sixth. Daniel McGriff has found his way up into seventh and nine drivers started this race We can tell you that a couple of them have pulled off the racetrack and they are done for the day And this one seven cars left on the track for the season finale here the championship race and Bill Baldwin doing all the right things here folks He's got the lead and He's charging away, he's putting down the fastest lap times on the track over the last two or three laps here. JRB in second, Pac-Man in third. And as long as Pac-Man stays where he is, it's going to be just fine. There's seven cars left on the racetrack, and unless Pac-Man drops all the way back to the seventh position and finishes there, he's going to be the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series champion. That's what it's going to take here, folks. And so far, so good for Pac-Man. He's running in P3. He's got good speed and he's logging good lap times. And he might be really conserving the tires, taking care of the equipment. He knows what's at stake. He knows the situation he's in. He knows he doesn't necessarily have to get up there and win this race to be the champion. No reason to, uh, to push it and, and to risk it. Of 
Corvettes are having a good race here for the Brazilian Grand Prix, running fourth, fifth, and excuse me, fourth and fifth rather. Toyota FT1 of Percussive running in sixth. The Nissan GTR with the Dale Earnhardt tribute paint job there. The good wrench car, it's really nice. It's Daniel McGriff, and he's on pit road. He's leaving pit road right now, actually. Bill Baldwin still leads. The lead has increased just a little bit over the course of this race. JRB, the pole sitter, running in second, coming off two wins in a row. Here in the NASCAR GT Cup Series, was hoping to make it three in a row to, to cap off a 2020 season, but he's got his work cut out for him to run down. Bill Baldwin, Pac-Man, runs in third. Pac-Man's kind of lost ground and lost, uh, lost touch a little bit with the top two. The good news for Pac-Man is that he's, he doesn't have a challenger anytime soon. Jesse Carlson running in fourth respectfully and he's got a, he's got a good car. The 48 does and he, he's, he's really rocketing towards the front. He started towards the tail of the field and he's up to the fourth position. But, but Pac-Man's got a, a nice gap between himself and Jesse. And I don't see Jesse running him down for P3 anytime soon. Number 19, Mountain Dew, Toyota FT1, looking strong here. We're reaching the halfway mark of this race. And after the second round of green flag pit stops here in the Autodromo de Interlagos race here, the Brazilian Grand Prix, Bill Baldwin still leads, and he's, he's actually increasing the lead that he had over JRB. JRB runs in second, Pac-Man running in third. Popeye has moved his way into the fourth position. Jesse Carlson getting a report that he's had a couple of errors over the course of the last few laps, and he's dropped back now to P5. And... Percussive right there running in sixth. Daniel McGriff still on the racetrack and he runs in the seventh position in the Nissan GTR. You see that he's transparent on your screen, folks, and it's because there's a car on the lead lap just behind him and we have a setting applied where the cars one lap down will go in a, in a ghost mode so that way there's no incidents and uh, no controversy when it comes to the lap traffic throughout these one hour endurance races and sometimes we see some of that Especially here at these smaller tracks, Brazil has a very small road course here at Autodromo de Interlagos. It doesn't take them too long to turn a lap here. Always fun and always exciting to watch the real-life F1 races here at this racetrack for that reason. Very narrow, very technical racetrack, a lot of elevation change, and as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, a little bit of everything here. Some tight chicanes, some S-bends, some, some straightaways, and... It's a challenge for even the very best in the world. And there's a change for the race lead, but it's because the third and final green flag cycle of pit stops have begun and mostly have been completed here. Uh, Bill Baldwin now scored into the second position, JRB in third, and Pac-Man in the number 19 uh, Mountain Dew Toyota car is yet to make his third and final scheduled pit stop here in the Brazilian Grand Prix. We think that he's going to be coming to pit road this next time by. He's coming out of the final few turns now. A little bit of uh, spotlight, a little bit of camera time for him here in the final race of the season. And there you see him coming to pit road. He'll surrender the race lead right now. And the Mountain Dew crew is going to go to work, put four super soft tires on this car. Fuel him up for the final run, the final stint to the finish. You can see there that he didn't need very much fuel. He's down and away. Bill Baldwin retakes the lead. JRB runs in second. Pac-Man now back to the third position 
And with no immediate challenge from the driver running in fourth, that is Jesse Carlson. Percussive runs in fifth, Popeye running in sixth. Popeye on a little bit of a different pit strategy than Percussive in the fifth position. That is the closest battle on the racetrack right now. Percussive just in front of him in fifth. And we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Percussive hanging, up, hanging it up here after this race here for the NASCAR GT Cup Series, announcing retirement and... Uh, there you can see the NASCAR tribute paint job that he's sporting here for the season finale. It says thank you for the memories on the door and, and we were happy to have him here as a driver. A very good talent, a couple podium finishes, a lot of top five and top ten finishes and he'll go down as one of the greats here in the NASCAR GT Cup Series, that's for sure. Tell you one thing, uh, the battle is on here for second and third, JRB in second, Pac-Man in third, and that's not what Bill Baldwin wants to see. Bill's leading the race, and in order for him to win the championship, he needs Pac-Man to drop a few spots from where he is, but Pac-Man appears to possibly maybe have a, an opportunity to gain a position, if anything. I don't think Pac-Man's going to hound him too much. I don't think he's going to pressure him too much to to maybe put everything at risk and lose positions. I think he's going to ride along and perhaps get what he can. If he can get him, he'll get him. If he can't, he can't. But I've been wrong before, and these are race car drivers, of course. Sim racers that, that want to get every position possible, every point possible, want to break every record possible. And So I could be wrong. Two Toyota FT1s, nose to tail. Going into turn three, I believe it is here. An Autodromo de Interlagos, the Brazilian Grand Prix, world famous racetrack. Round 16 here for the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series, the season finale, the championship race here in Gran Turismo Sport. Driving the GR3 cars, balance of power tuning. It's been a lot of fun calling these races. Bill Baldwin closing in on what would be his first win of the season, and it's and it's insane that it's going to only be his first win of the season if he can pull this off because he's got over 10 podiums this season and it's right there in the thick of things in the championship battle and for him to come into the season finale winless after having four wins at the at the end of it all in 2019 it's just unheard of and Bill's looking to change that here in Brazil and doing a great job at that JRB's coming off two wins in a row and before that he was winless so a lot of feel-good moments here late in the season for a lot of these drivers. Pac-Man running in third, of course, it's going to be a, an all-time feel-good moment for him if he can just hold on for dear life. It's going to be his first ever NASCAR championship. If he finishes in third, he's going to beat Bill Baldwin by 10 points, and he's going to hold on to win the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series championship. And all these drivers will tell you it's not easy to win the NASCAR GT Cup Series Championship. It's not easy winning one of these races even. It's a very short list of drivers that even have a podium finish in this series. Just the level of competition and how stiff it is here. Pac-Man knows this all too well. He's been here for quite some time. He's worked his way from being a top five caliber driver to a podium finisher frequently and now contending for wins on a weekly basis and perhaps at the end of today being crowned the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series champion. We're in the late stages of the Brazilian Grand Prix. And we can bring light to the fact that Percussive has actually worked his way up into the fourth position and it's because Jesse Carlson in the number 48 Chevy Corvette has made a late pit stop in this race. But now the battle for fourth and fifth is on, folks, and you can see it on your screens. <coughs> Pardon me. And we're getting a good look at Bill Baldwin, folks. Coming out of the final turn here at Autodromo de Interlagos for the final time. Well, at least to the second to last time, rather. When he crosses the line, it's going to be 59 minutes and 44 seconds. About that, anyways, complete in this race. Therefore, it's 
going to be the final lap here for Bill Baldwin. Closing in on that elusive first win of the season, fifth win of his NASCAR GT Cup Series career. JRB closing in on a runner-up finish. Pac-Man, if he can hold on to the third position, he's going to be the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series champion here. Driving the GR3 cars on Gran Turismo Sport. He wins races in sport mode against the... Uh, against drivers all over the world daily, as does Bill Baldwin, JRB, Ty Mack, and a lot of these other Gran Turismo Sport drivers. You can see Jesse Carlson has now worked his way around Percusso for the fourth position, and it's likely on the slightly older tires here in this battle that Percusso is going to settle for P5 in his final outing, his final race in his NASCAR GT Cup Series career. They're going to come up to the start-finish line to complete the race. Bill Baldwin working through the final S-bend uh, here for the final time. He's going to come up to the final turn. It's the long left-hander. What a day for Bill. The drought is over. The two-time NASCAR Super GT Series champion finally gets his first win here in the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series season. Bill Baldwin wins the Brazilian Grand Prix. JRB will finish in second, but it's Pac-Man in the number 19 Mountain Dew Toyota FT1 coming around for the final time. He is your 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series champion. Four wins on the season for Pac-Man first ever NASCAR championship and what a proud moment for Pac-Man and the entire number 19 team. What a season finale. What a championship race. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And that's it. The 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series season is in the books. We'd like to thank Ayrton Frederick for the commentary duties and the producing duties he did throughout the entire season. We'd like to also thank Bill Baldwin for the hosting duties, percussive Pac-Man Back in Black for the social media help, and thank you to all the drivers who participated. It was an exciting season. Several different winners this season. Newcomers, new faces, home racetrack triumphs. We saw it all here in the 2020 NASCAR GT Cup Series season. GR3 cars provide a very exciting and entertaining race, especially with the balance of power settings and the no custom tuning to these cars. It really does come down to track knowledge, driver skill, the draft is very strong, and of course, having a good strategy throughout the one hour endurance races certainly goes a long way. Even Steven, Bill Baldwin, JRB, Pac-Man, and several others, including Jesse Carlson, all found victory lane this season. And it was an exciting thrill ride, a roller coaster, a grind for us all. I'd like to wish everybody a happy holidays. We hope everybody stays safe and healthy out there. We hope everybody enjoyed the broadcast throughout 2020. Another calendar year in the history books for NASCAR. Established June 2017, and here we go into 2021.